Hi friends, it's Terry Stewart, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. Welcome to my Stamping is Fun channel and this edition of the Bundle Bonus featuring the Crane of Fortune. I'm really excited to show it to you, so let's get started. The Crane of Fortune bundle includes the Crane of Fortune stamp set and the Fortune Good Fortune dies. So I am really loving this stamp set. I love these images, the crane, the chrysanthemums, these lovely sentiments that I think are very versatile. So today I'm using the crane image, the chrysanthemum image, and this sending a thousand well wishes. And I feel like this could be used for any occasion, um, for somebody getting well, uh, starting a new job, a new adventure, on your special day. So uh, you're gonna see how I'm gonna use this a little differently. And then we have the good fortune dies, which coordinates. So we have the crane die that we're using today, the chrysanthemum die, uh, and then we have some floral images, these fan flowers or palms, I'm not sure. I'm using this one and this one. Then you also have some little flowers and stems. Um, and I think this one coordinates with that and these little dragonflies here. So it's a very um, versatile uh, bundle. And so my bundle bonus is you buy the bundle and I give you a bonus. Not only this video, but another tutorial I'm working on as well as links to videos that my friends, my demonstrator friends have made tutorials. So you'll get a lot of inspiration. So for my card, I am making this card, a thousand well wishes. So you can see I've used the chrysanthemum as a background. I told you about the crane and then some die cuts in the back. And then the thousand well wishes, I'm using this sentiment, but I'm going to cut out and just use the words a thousand well wishes instead of sending on your special day. So really you can use this for uh, many occasions. And then on the inside, I have stamped the chrysanthemum and it's just so, so pretty. So these are, these are the ingredients I'm gonna use for today's project, but visit my blog at stampinghair.blogspot.com and I'll list all the measurements in both imperial and metric. So I'm starting with a scrap of Calypso coral and a scrap of a shimmery white. And I don't know if you can see it, but this has sparkle in it. And that's what we're gonna stamp our crane on. And then I'm using the DSP Symbols of Good Fortune. And this bundle actually is part of the uh, Symbols of Collection, Symbols of Fortune collection. And it has these beautiful papers and patterns. And then one side has gold foiling. It's kind of gray with gold. There's all a variety of patterns. They're gorgeous. So this piece is three by three and three quarters or 7.6 by nine and a half centimeters. And then we have a piece of mother of pearl. And I don't know if you can see the sparkle. It's so very sparkly. And this piece is what we're going to cut our fan flowers from. And it's two and a half by four inches or six and a half centimeters by 10 and a half centimeters. Another piece of the mother of pearl, which is three and a quarter by four and a quarter or 8.3 by 10.8 centimeters. And this becomes our layer behind our DSP. And a piece of white cardstock at four by five and a quarter or 10 by 14.4 centimeters. And this is our inside layer. And of course our base Calypso coral and it's uh, half a sheet scored in half. So this piece is five and a half inches by eight and a half or 14.9 by 21 centimeters. Half a sheet of cardstock and then just score it in half. And I'm gonna fold this right now. It's a little bit easier to hold it on my workspace. And then I'm going to stamp uh, my chrysanthemums first and my crane and my words and on my card base. So these two will be stamped with Calypso Coral 
And then these, this one, our cream is in soft succulent and then we're gonna stamp the sentiment and evening evergreen. So let me get my ink pads. So a Calypso coral, we're gonna do a tone on tone for our background on our card base. And I brought in a piece of scrap paper because I do not like to, well, I like my workspace pristine and this way I can stamp and keep it that way. I'm just going around the outside since our DSP and Mother of Pearl focal point will uh, cover the center. And now for my inside, I'll stamp in the lower left corner. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And with my soft succulent, I'm gonna stamp the cream. And this is shimmery white. Gives a little bit of sparkle. Now I did get on the edges, so when I stamp this, I'm not going to uh, press very hard. I don't want to get the shadows, but this will be die cut, so I think I'm going to be okay. And another beautiful image. And then the last thing I'm stamping with Evening Evergreen and my sentiment, sending a thousand well wishes. And I will trim this up to just use the thousand well wishes. I'm gonna bring in my good fortune dies and do some die cutting with this swag of fan flowers, my cream dye, and then this small fan flower. So my stamped image, I'm going to take this to my cut and emboss machine and roll it through with this piece of mother of pearl. I'm going to cut out the swag of fan flowers and on the same pass I can get one of them of the smaller die and then I'll run it through again and move the smaller die up so I can get two of them. So I'm going to head over to my cut and emboss machine and I'll be right back. Because the mother of pearl paper is a little bit thicker, I ended up having to run my die through twice, once forward and once backwards. And then bringing in my pick your tool with the brush in tip, roll over it to remove the little pieces and to pop the die cut from the die. This is a tool that's in the annual catalog. It's very handy when using these intricate dies and sometimes it's with this thicker cardstock. So you'll notice on my sample that I have this three pieces of DSP and they come from this piece that's three by three and a quarter. We're gonna cut them in equal portions. And so for inches, that'd be one and a quarter, one and a quarter. And then for our centimeters, approximately 2.3 is what we're going to cut. You would cut those. Again, check out my blog for the full imperial and metric measurements. So with my trimmer, I'm going to cut these in one and a quarter increments. 
And that'll give us three equal size pieces. First piece, and then the second piece. Now we can start assembling. Oh, one more thing before we do that. So I'm gonna lay these so I can keep them in order. I'm bringing my paper snips, I'm gonna trim out my 1,000 well wishes. Now we cut them apart. I'm trying to keep evenly spaced between them. Looks about right. And these are just scraps. So I'm going to take my mother of pearl panel, it's three and a quarter by four and a quarter, and I'm going to glue my DSP pieces to the front that mother and pearl and we do the left and then the right and center those uh, each piece top and bottom so they have about the same distance on the top and the bottom as on the side with my liquid glue you can see that gorgeous patterns on the back, these gold foilings that are just so luxurious, so beautiful. I'm putting the same distance top and bottom as the side, and then I'll do my right sided. And then the center piece should fit right in between those and I'll have the same distance. Now this piece, I'm going to add some soft succulent satin ribbon, also part of the Symbols of Fortune collection. And that will go right across here. Now this piece was four and a quarter, so I'm going to cut a piece of length of ribbon, four and a quarter inches. Four and a quarter was 10.8 uh, centimeters. So four and a quarter or 10.8. And this coordinates so well with the colors in the DSP. To adhere that, I'm going to use my tear and tape. Just lay this across. And then I can just rip it apart. Burnish a little bit and bring in my take your pick tool to lift the covering up from that. And just pull it away easily and lay our ribbon on that adhesive. And then we're gonna put this piece on our card front. And I'm going to shift this somewhat to the left and that will give us room for our Mother of Pearl die cuts and our crane. Again, with my liquid glue, I'm shifting this. There we go. And now I can bring in my die cuts. I'm going to lay this fan image almost touching the right and edge, and then I'll tuck in my fan, smaller fan die cuts towards the bottom. 
I'm gonna put those down first. A little bit of glue on my fingers. Just a little dab of glue on these. And I can tuck those in. Like so. And then these other next set at the bottom of the, the of that larger piece. And I'm gonna put glue here on the these larger uh, between the, the narrow dry cuts of the flower bases and just a touch on the edges to secure it. And it really doesn't need a lot because the crane will go on top of it and hold it down. So pretty, such a nice shimmery effect there. And then with our crane, I'm gonna use some dimensionals. Now I've come to the end of my pack, but you can still cut these to size or customize your size. So I'll use these bigger pieces for the body. Then I'll customize some of these edging edge pieces for his head and neck and narrow uh, pieces for his feet. Move these dimensional covers, which go everywhere. I seem to find them everywhere. And then the crane will sit right over Mother of Pearl fan flowers. Now our thousand wishes, I'm gonna trim this up a little bit. Now I want to get the spacing between thousand and well wishes. This is way too too much spacing. So I'm gonna trim this down. I might need to trim it several times before I'm happy with um, the spacing there. Okay, and now I'll put some glue to secure these in place. I'm putting it right down the middle so it should have the same, again, the same spacing top and bottom on the ribbon. Then last, well, one of the last things is to uh, decorate our inside, put our inside piece. Using some liquid glue to adhere this panel. The color combination with the ink chrysanthemum and the cardstock are just really gorgeous. Pop of color inside. Now we're going to add some bling. So this is the polished dots, also from the Symbols of Fortune collection. And these come in vanilla and the Calypso Coral. And since we're using Calypso Coral, I'm going to use that color. I have a large dot. Pick that up with my take your pick and I'll put that down underneath and then pick up two smaller ones and put those on this left-hand panel. These are polished dots and they're very uh, shiny. Actually, I think I'm gonna put it over here on this floor panel. There we go. And there we have it, a thousand well wishes card using the Crane of Fortune bundle which is a part of the Symbols of Fortune collection. Beautiful, beautiful cards. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like this project, like and subscribe to my channel so I can bring you even more fun stamping projects. And until next time, remember, stamping is fun. Thanks.